annoying one. Of course, <laughs> the, the most star. significant one. I hope so. Yes. Hi. Hi again. Nice to meet you again. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. First, Brian, um, I have to do something if you don't mind. A friend of mine, my director of my show, mm. is in love with you. Oh. And he Male brought. Or female. Yeah, he brought. <laughs> his, his name. His name. I'm sorry. <laughs> and he brought this, love which is. Yeah. <laughs> Just his, name is, his name is Oded, but I think it's better if you sign here because it's. Uh, sure, yeah. How do you spell it? Oded. O D E D. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Very good. What are you writing? I write a bit love, because he loves me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> From me. Wow. From the date. That's good. He's going to die tonight. Oh. I might just keep it to myself, though. We've <laughs> <laughs> got 10 minutes. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thank you for coming all this way. Wow. I, I basically I'm not supposed to be here. Oh. But when I heard that uh, this event is happening, I called the producers and I asked to <laughs> join in. I'm not a reporter. I'm not That's a. Cool. Uh, yeah. I'm just a TV host who love your music, both of you. Not just a TV host. You're the, aren't you the TV host? Try to be modest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am, I am. But I'm not modest at all. No. Everybody knows it. <laughs> None of us are modest, so yeah. we wouldn't be doing this. Yeah, we're excellent. <laughs> all of us. We're in pursuit of excellence. Are you excited about coming to Israel? Very much so. Yeah. Both of you is the first time, right? No, I, I was in, I did a tour with Guns N' Roses and we played Tel Aviv. Really? Yeah. Not as on queen. which one of them? Not, not as Queen. No, I, I, my own tour. I, I was the, it was the Brian May band and I supported Guns N' Roses. Oh, wow. 1989 or something. How was it? Great. Amazing. You know, and I was thinking, at that time I was thinking, oh, it's such a shame that we can't be Queen anymore. You know, we can't come here and do a stadium. How wonderful that would be because we have so many incredible fans in Israel and uh, now we have this gentleman who came as a gift from God and we can do it it's incredible I mean, this is an amazing opportunity to play yeah as Queen I know that um, I, I've read somewhere that you're you got afraid from the people who criticize the fact that you're doing it and you, you got scared from the fans of Queen four, yeah f over four years ago that's how I felt I have um, to tell you that I watched a few videos last night yeah it's insane how it fits <laughs> like a glove. Aww. It's insane how gorgeous it is. I want you just to watch one, and yeah, I found you. myself watching one after one after one. Thanks. It's good. Yeah, he's incredible. When we start, when we started, I was I didn't know. I didn't know how it was going to go over. You know, I didn't know how the fans would accept me. I didn't know how the band would accept me. I didn't know if I could handle it vocally. Um, and now it's been over four years, and we've really evolved because we started out and we did pretty damn good. But I think it's grown. I think it's definitely it's gotten stronger and stronger and more instinctual. Who helped you take the decision? <laughs> I, I helped myself. I mean, I, it was offered, and I thought about it for a minute, and I knew I could. For I, a minute? I, for, literally for about sixty seconds. I went. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you have to think about things. But your mom no, I was going to think about it for days because it's no, just a it huge a pretty, responsibility. Yeah, it was a pretty you. quick decision. Oh. I think I went. Uh, 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 yes. <laughs> It was an opportunity I couldn't pass up. I mean, it was such an honor to be asked. And for you guys, was it an easy decision to, to call Adam, or was it you know, like a discussion? It was an easy decision. It didn't happen overnight, because Adam was actually occupied. You know, he's on this show, and he's part of Simon Cowell's kind of uh, system, you know. And actually, I was in the studio in L.A., and I heard something that Adam was working on with the producer I was working with. And I tried to call Adam to say, you know what, we should really do something, but I, could, I couldn't get through to him, you know. So there was this desire, there was this will from us, but it happened, it actually happened one night in, uh, in Ireland. We played Dublin together, because uh, we had the opportunity to do three songs together, and I think at that moment everyone went, oh, this really does work, you know, us and the audience, and we had a deluge of people saying, this is incredible, you have to go on tour, you have to start, you know, taking this seriously. It was a little by little thing, and I think that's what made it so exciting, oh. is that it was never, you know, something that we overcommitted to. It was, we were feeling it out. Yeah. We were feeling it out, and it, and it, it was very organic that way. Yeah. What can people, you're going to perform in Israel in the biggest uh, uh, place that we have for concerts. It's Naturally. called Kayalkorn. <laughs> 50,000 people. Naturally. It's a lot. <laughs> uh, what can they expect? They will expect what they've expected for years and years and years, I think, you know, this sudden coming together, you know, it's incredible. And I will expect them 
You know that the Golden Ring tickets just went like that. Uh, is that right? Like yeah. that. Never. It was never so fast selling right? those tickets. Yeah. Well, I, I have this incredible feeling you know, that people have been with us for so long in Israel, and they, there hasn't been this opportunity for us to come together. It's an incredible moment. It will be. You know, and I know they will participate. I know that they want to sing, they want to clap, they want to do all the things that a queen audience yeah. does. You know. You're going to have a lot of young audience as well, because when I wrote on Twitter that I'm interviewing you, people that call themselves Glamberts, mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the Israeli fans filled my Twitter with, tell Adam this, tell Adam that, ask him which perfume he's using, because he always <laughs> smells so good. How do they know how you smell? <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting, because I've, I've been seeing on Twitter over the past six, seven years, people from Tel Aviv saying, oh, when are you coming? And yeah, I wrote you a few times. Yeah? I never <laughs> answered. <laughs> I might have read it. I might have read it. And ignored it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to go to an area of the world that I've never been to. I always like... You're Jewish. Yeah, I'm Jewish, yeah. I always like going to, to discover new things and see new places and meet new fans, and I, I'm really, really thrilled. How many days are coming? I don't know. What is it, three? I think so, yeah. Three something? What do you want us to arrange for you? You want the party? You want the gay nightlife? You want Jerusalem? Yeah, what do you want? It's, it, we, the, show I mean, comes, the show is the first priority. Mm -hmm. So you can't party too much because then the show suffers. Really? Maybe after the show. Yes. Yeah. yes. After the show. Maybe. Yeah. We need a party in the Dead Sea, I think. <laughs> Excellent. A float. I was there once before. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's not like it, you know, it's not like water at all. It's yeah. like oil. It's floating. Yeah, you just, I it, to try you it. don't go under. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I want to show you something. I'm sorry. <laughs> Adam, if you, if, you, if you don't like it, tell me and I'll stop. I want to <laughs> oh, show you Adam uh, sings yeah. in Hebrew. Ooh. Oh, yes. I've se I remember. And of course you remember. You cannot forget, especially your hairstyle. Look at him. Oh, the hair was bad. This is a song that's called wow. um, A Song for Peace. Very Hasidic. Listen to that voice. Yep. Very like in a synagogue. <laughs> wow. How did you learn the words? Phonetically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> someone so wrote, basically you don't someone know what wrote, you're singing. I, I can't speak Hebrew, no. But somebody wrote them out for me and I was reading them on a piece of paper on the stage. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Smoke the mirrors, sound of the mirrors. The sound of the voice, you know. That's that's a voice in a billion. Yeah. Oh, Insane. In a billion, yeah. I was I was really inspired by the, the, the music. I thought the song was really beautiful. beautiful. The melody was the so lyrics are beautiful. beautiful. That's amazing. We have to do that. Let's do that. <laughs> Great. Let's do it. Idea. I can stand show. under the stage with the words or whisper it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. It's beautiful lyrics. Fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask a few gay questions? Yeah, you can ask gay questions. If you. You I, I don't know, know why we're in quotes. No, 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 ask me gay questions. <laughs> I can ask you gay upset. questions. <laughs> I'm offended. <laughs> you know, she's, she's telling me to. Yeah, but two more questions. <laughs> I just got married with oh, my husband. Nice. Oh, yeah. Hello. Congratulations. Hi, Ring. Very cheap one. Awesome. Um, are you planning to get married? I don't, do you wanna a, I don't have anybody that I'm with right I now. Know. I think that's a first step. But um, do, you, do you see yourself starting a family? Doing like you know, it's a really good question. I've been asked it before, and I don't know. I think in order to want to start a family, you have to be in love with somebody and want to build a life together. I think that comes before the life that you want to build. It's the person. So I haven't gotten to that point in my life yet. Um, it would be lovely. I think it would be a nice thing at, at some point later in my life to have a family. But I, I you know, I don't know. I don't know. My, I, I could be a bachelor for the rest of time. I don't know was my dream in the past <laughs> when I met my husband. Can, uh, the last thing, can, can I ask you to say something for the people in Israel that are coming to see the concert? Yeah? Is it okay or is it embarrassing? No, oh, yeah, it's fine. fine. Yeah. Hi, Israel Imchamudim. Ina Adam Lambert. The Queen. Chalak Mehem. Adabrim Alchem. And we are thrilled that we get to come to play to you. And we can't wait. And I know that you will perform with us. And yeah. it will be a great night. <laughs> now a picture. Cool. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> you really don't want to party when you come to Israel. Maybe after the show. You have to. But I have to. I have to like save the voice beforehand. So That's what I said to the yeah. producers after the show. After the show.